okay so so what happens is <coughs> what happens is is the the electrons after collision they emerge with uh, and between the two collisions where the time t1 and and we should understand that all of them collide after different times right because they are all randomly oriented there is no order to it so they'll they'll collide after times t1 t2 and tn now i try to sum this this up what is the net velocity so v1 plus v2 and we sum for all the n electrons right so that becomes what it it has a term v small v1 plus small v2 plus small vn okay minus e e upon m t1 plus this is also a vector this is this is fully a vector equation right so t1 plus t2 and it will go up to tn right right now what happens is what is the what is the sum of of these right what is the what is the sum of these okay what is the what is the sum of 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 this velocity right and, and what do i do i try to take an average right so so how do i take an average i divide this by n i divide this by n and i divide this by n understand so i divide this by n and this by n and this by n and see what what it means right now this term is the velocity after they emerge right initial velocity and they will be moving in all sorts of direction they will not have a preferred direction right so their sum the vector sum will become zero it becomes an o vector no this is prior to collision what happens is these are the velocities after the collision now they are moving in all random directions right so the sum of their initial velocities after they emerge will cancel out you you can say that maybe these were the velocities after the emergence and suddenly you applied the in the initial phase when when it was not applied what happened when it was not applied what happened they were moving in all random directions they cannot have a definite velocity because if if the sum of them goes into a particular direction that means there will be a current there will be a conventional current in the direction opposite to that that cannot happen so after the collision they emerge in all sorts of random directions right now what happens since they are all random and there is no favored direction their sum comes out to zero these are the initial velocity just velocity is just after they emerge after collision i have summed them okay this becomes minus e e upon m now the these they seem to be random values but you should understand that for a given condition okay say for a given temperature they'll have a constant they'll have a have a constant statistical value okay and that that thing that average time of collision is known as tau and also termed the relaxation time the relaxation time by relaxation average relaxation time obviously okay it should be called called an average 
relaxation time right it's called as average relaxation time okay now what happens and it's termed as tau average that means it will hover around this value and 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 av average is an average okay it's a constant it becomes a constant at a given temperature now what happens is is this is this has got this value this i tend to call the drift velocity so my drift velocity my drift velocity vd is equal to minus e e upon m tau tau is a constant e is a constant e is a constant m is a constant so so this is a constant with respect to both the with respect to both the the direction as well as the magnitude now what happens this is this is an accelerated motion all the electrons they are accelerating but still their net velocity is a constant you see that it looks looks look, looks like a paradox but it is not i will show you how all the electrons are accelerated between the two collisions between the two collisions but but their average drift velocity is a constant okay this looks paradoxical but it is not so so actually what happens is is something like this okay what happens is something like this okay is something like this that that the electrons otherwise they would have moved like this okay what happens otherwise they would have moved like that say they would have collided and moved like that they would have collided and moved like that would have collided and moved like that okay but since there is an electric field okay since there is an electric field directed like what what happens they 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 are kind of pulled like that so so what happens on an average you can you can say that you can say that that they move like they if they would have been moving like this instead they'll move like this right so it will be pulled off it will be it will be retarded it it will the the it is experiencing a force in this direction so so it will kind of get pulled pulled off like that and when it is there maybe it it, it it kind of comes like that okay and then it kind of goes like that and then it comes like that the red one the 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 dotted one that the, this is the the movement this this is the movement in the absence of electric field in the absence 
of electric field yeah movement of of electrons yes yeah, of electric field while while the red ones right while the red ones so so this is movement of electrons in the presence of electric field. Movement is same in both the cases. It is not. The movement is not the same in both the cases. Why? Because it seems to have drifted to the left. Due to the pull yes. of the electric field, it seems to have drifted. You see, they are not identical. Had they been identical, this, this another electric field, so, so this is only in the electric field submerged. Now what happens? It seems to have shifted to the left. Instead of be after, uh, say, at time t equal to zero, it is here. At time t equal to t, in the absence of electric field, it would have been here. But in the presence of electric field, now you'll find it here. Yes. Right. So it is not that the electrons start moving as, as like an army in a parade. So 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 it, it does not happen that all the electrons they are moving like this. You see that that. That otherwise they were random and suddenly they start moving in one direction. That never happens. Okay, so they they they'll, they'll kind of keep on bouncing off the electrons and they'll keep on changing their direction. But still in the net you'll find them moving from in the direction opposite to the direction of the electric field. Understand? Understand? You understand that? Now, it's pretty kind of uh, amazing and, and startling that this VD yeah. comes out to about a centimeter per second only. While we would have kind of expected it expected it to be to to, to be moving at at kind of speed of light speed of light. But, but it is an absolutely wrong notion. And why do we feel that? Intuitively we feel that, that, intuitively we feel that, that I, I switch the, uh, I, I switch the, I sw switch the, you know, uh, um, the electricity on and even if it is say two kilometers away, the light bulb Glows instantaneously, right? So it seems why 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 does that happen? If it is moving so slow, why should it move so fast, right? Why should my why should my uh, um, field move so fast? Now why why the the light gets lighted immediately while the electrons are so sluggish to move, right? What happens when you switch the when you switch the light on, you set this electric field and the electric field is set up at the speed of light. At the speed of light, right? Now the moment the electric field gets set up, the electrons get in motion, in an effective motion that is equal to VD, right? Now you are interested. The moment the so 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 you switch it on, the electric field gets set up. The electrons start moving, and the moment they start moving, the current gets set up, right? So you do not kind of wait for this electron to come to you for the light to glow. That is not that, that's not the case. The moment the electrons start moving, they have set up an electric current, and if there is an electric current, the the it gets manifested maybe uh, by the lighting of the bulb. Right? So you understand, this is an anomaly. So we feel that the electrons must be moving at the speed of light, which is not the case. It is the electric field which gets set up at the speed of light. Okay? So if it is maybe the point, point is about 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter away, then, then it, will be get, it, it will get set after one second. You understand? It will get set after a second. 
okay but so 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 that's why the moment you switch the light on the current starts but the speed is not that high we normally assume that the speed will be the speed of light which is which is not not the case okay now we'll try to see how it is related to the current or is it related to the current the answer is yes <laughs> 